It's a mess in this attic Lot going on but there ain't no need to panic Come on up and join, we getting wild, getting manic Spitting truth for all you fanatics uh, Every week got something new to say Ain't no filter, this shit coming straight from the brain It's coming straight from the brain Yeah, it's coming straight, coming straight from the brain Hi everybody, welcome back to A Talk in the Attic. Thank you for tuning in to this, the final installment of our 75 part expose on former fast food titan Hot Now's unlikely fall from grace. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, 2021, and I'm your host, Kirk Ross, pretending to be Ira Glass. And this is Hot Now and Alone, Dan's Home Distress or Drive Through Demise, part 75, the conclusion. The bun stops here. When we left off last time, it was late 2016 when the Sturgis Michigan outlet became the last hot and now remaining in the known universe. Some five years have passed since that fateful day, and for most of us, it's been at least that long since those signature low-cost ingredients have found their way into our bodies. And for Adam, Kirk, and Vito, today's heroes, it had been no exception. A combined 59 years have passed since any of the three Burger Boys in... Did I mention where calling them Burger Boys now. Nearly 60 years had passed when the Burger Boys, Adam, Kirk, and Vito, decided to drive down to Sturgis, Michigan on a warm Saturday morning to see just what they'd been missing. But let's let the Burger Boys, led by host Kirk Ross, take it from here. I'm Ira Glass, and on behalf of Chicago Public Media, let's start the show. Let's start, let, let's start the show. Are you guys kind of nervous? A little. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I am think I going to have flashbacks? This is excitement. What era did you eat at Hot Now most, Adam? Oh, probably like around 10 years old, younger than that, probably. Was there one pretty close by? Yeah. Yeah, there was one in Jenison. I remember my friend's dad used to take us there after like baseball games or t-ball games and stuff. Some chicken sandwiches. Pretty much about around the same time. Yeah, and there was one really close to us. I lived in a trailer park, and I mean, it was pretty much in walking distance, but. Was it 39 cent burgers when you boys were going to? I don't remember, I don't remember many. I didn't have to pay for it, because I was a kid. So. Yeah, I don't I don't remember any of it. I just remember the the drive through window that you could go through on the passenger side. That was always, you know. Innovative. Dope. Yeah, basically they got bought by like Pepsi and they were under like the whole Taco Bell brand family situation and it just kind of fizzled out and the corporate closed down a bunch of stores and there were only a few remaining that were just run by the franchisee owners and then um, yeah, a lot of them went bankrupt and this failed business model. They tried new like menu items and things that just didn't work out and then there was only two locations left, this one and then the one in Bay City, is that what we decided it Yeah, was? Burger 81. Yeah, it's now Burger 81 after they burned down in 2016, I think. And That's for yeah. tu- fortuitous timing. Yeah, so now it's just this one after the other one was taken out by flames. So that hot now is now a Burger 81. And this hot now is now the only hot now in the world, in the universe, right? Yeah, in the known universe. In the known universe. Like, yeah, there could be there, an, an alternate reality where hot now is the McDonald's. And McDonald's is like, there's one location left in Sturgis, Michigan. People come here to get Big Macs. Cause it's, it's, oh it's yeah, Big Macs, remember? Upside down. Yeah. Kind of ironic, yeah. yeah. You know, we're gonna get the big hots now. We're flip-flopping in this reality. So Vito, are you already prepared with an order idea? Or are you just gonna Absolutely get up there? Absolutely not. Okay. No. None of us know what the hell's going on here. It's like here. DJing, just, I'm just winging it, man. Yeah, there's no playlist here. That's right. <laughs> get way too much food. To make it the most like common experience with how the nostalgia of Hot Now is for me, like, we didn't have phones. We couldn't look up the menu in advance. You got there, you were rushed because you had eight minutes to get back to school before you were tardy. And you had to make a quick decision <laughs> with people breathing down your neck, and that's kind of how the thing is. So why why know your menu items in advance, right? That's right. Vito, I feel like this was over the conversation. He's just thinking, he's deep in thought about burgers. He's so hungry. My mouth is watering he's right now. He's hangry, look at him. My mouth is just... Uh, Olive burger. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for it, baby. I want someone to feed me. Can we, like, eat in the front grass area that's all trimmed up nice? Definitely. 
Is that too much? Get some shots of this nicely cut grass. Well, actually, we can't eat in there because if you remember how hot now is our design, they have a moat of asphalt all the way around the building. It is a majestic place. Why not have a moat? So if you go out there, you end up being stuck. So no, we can't eat there. More on this later. So we got the two cheeseburger combo. That is awesome, actually. Are you feeling more or less nervous now that you're getting no, closer? It's to actually getting worse, to be honest with you. Getting worse? My hands are sweating. Oh, this Karen in front of us is super offended. Palms are sweaty. Vomit on the sweater already. She does look mad. Yeah, she ain't happy. But this is no movie. There's no Mackay Pfeiffer. But what you are going to see right here are two unbelievably outdated looking hot now signs. But hey, if you got it, use it. Be economical. That's how they stayed in business, baby. One of, the, one of the ways you survive a company like this when you're the last remaining one of a dying breed I love double deluxe. is reusing graphics. They, so, you know, they've done a good job of not, they've, they've really done a good job of using the graphics. These guys aren't listening had. to me right now, so. You can get your flirt, your blasters here. Your... Dude, they don't have apple pies. We're Fuck up. this, man. We're up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Look at that pyramid of burgers. 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 Hi, welcome to Hot Now. Can I take your order, please? 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 Hi, welcome to Hot Now. Can I take your order, please? We, we can, we're not quite far enough up yet, sorry. You're good. So, this is a unique situation. We're so excited. We don't want to wait for the additional car, so I'm going to do the relaying of the message. Okay, I'm going to go first. We're going to need four big hots, ten hamburgers, five small fries, four deluxe olive burgers, Two of those without tomato. Double. Double. All right. Three orders of cheese taters. Five, ten, or fifteen. Fifteen. Three Coney dogs, too. Can we get a large Dr. Pepper, a large Mountain Dew, and a large Diet Pepsi? Diet Pepsi, really? All right, just to let you know, we are selling t-shirts. Oh, yeah, we definitely want we definitely want t-shirts. Okay, I'll do a tr one triple X, XL, and one large. Would that complete your order? That's going to complete the order, yeah. I have four big hots, a number eight, all with cheese, two double olive burgers, two double olive burgers, no tomato, three 15 taters, three Coney dogs, a large Dr. Pepper, a large Mountain Dew, a large Diet Pepsi, a 3X shirt, an XL shirt, and a large. Yes. All right. The total is going to be 144.71. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that high. That's hilarious. 144? Yeah, 144.71. Okay, so before anyone judges about the fact that the bill came to $144, let's, let's just remember that we, we did buy three t-shirts, right? So that's that's going to be some large component of that. But also, we're eating for more than just three here. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely, we're definitely taking it back. Not for all of them. No, I'm not going to eat 45 cheese taters. Qu quit judging me. <laughs> Classic sign, the black sign, that's an old school. Wow, I actually have to I have to sign because it's such an expensive bill. This is a place used to be able to get ten hamburgers out the door for under five dollars. Wonderful. Now we all have shirts that really sing of the prestige that you could only get by either working there or buying the t-shirt. So rather than going in the nice grass uh, right now, we're just loudly eating and drinking in the parking lot next door, which really added to the romance because we were simply sitting there in the 95 degree parking lot eating on top of a very hot car and you know we're about to try these cheese teasers right now i'm doing a play-by-play -play because this is not just a video it's also an audio and we weren't that impressed with the cheese teasers uh they they needed a little bit more moisture but then again we were sitting in a parched arid parking lot so but you know we still managed to eat all 45 of them so have been that disappointed, right? Burger boys, burger boys, burger boys, burger boys, burger boys. We got the double olive burger here. Burger boys. Burger boys. But it looks this burger exactly boys. the same as it used to look. Yeah. Honestly, cheese not melted. Cheese not melted. That's what you look for. Mm -hmm. The lettuce was somehow the warmest part of the entire burger. Now we just loudly eat and stand there in the hot parking lot for a while. Are you, uh, were you, were you eating Tony's? Was that an item you'd get back in the day? No. 
Absolutely not. Do they even offer that back in the day? I have no clue. I only ever got like a cheeseburger or like olive burger or like a chicken sandwich. I think that was all I ever ordered. Yeah. Definitely. What's your uh, uh, what's your experience so far? Um, full. It was good. The fries were good. I forgot how good their fries were. I don't even know if those are the same original fries. I think they I think they made a change early on, and then it's been like these. Oh. They're kind of like those crispy, like yeah, like how Burger King's used. To yeah, they have like that coating on them. All right, here we go. That looks like heartburn, baby. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. That's gonna come up right into my throat as acid while I'm trying to sleep. Mm. Mm. It's a quality dog. <laughs> Let's get a cross section view of that thing. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. crush. Participating. I'm coming. Let the food digest. Please come back for round two. Burger boy, burger boys. We the burger boys. Burger boy, burger boys. So, what did Kirk and the team of Burger Boys learn today? They they learned that sometimes nostalgia is just that. It's what it's meant for. It's maybe not a good value anymore. And maybe what once was thirty nine cents was now a dollar eighty nine. And what used to be acceptable, like unmelted cheese and lukewarm lettuce and microwaved stale bun, might be acceptable when you're buying it for 39 cents. But when you're paying a dollar eighty nine and driving two hours across the state, well, maybe it just isn't worth it. But the Burger Boys had fun. The Burger Boys encourage you to also try to check out Hot Now and Sturgis and maybe don't eat there often but when you want a burger and a fries with a side of nostalgia and extra sentimentality well you know where to go it's the Burger Boys this has been a talk in the attic 75 part expose on hot now dance with distress or drive through demise this is Ira Glass we'll see you next time on a talk in the attic Burger Boys. That's the Burger Boys.